our first day in Japan. We're going to go see the monkeys in the hot springs. Here we are at the entrance, a uh, 1.6 kilometer walk. You excited, Tammy? Yes. There's a monkey. Hey, buddy. They're just hanging out. The monkeys are just climbing all over there on the roofs. I see about 50 monkeys just all scattered through here. guy that feeds them all. Hey Tammy, this is the guy that feeds them all right here. Yeah. He's got the bucket. See them all following him right there? Oh, <laughs> they know who's got the food. <laughs> So one is grooming the other, and the other one's grooming the one that's grooming. Oh, here comes the big one. There's the big one. Uh -oh. Guys, right here. Hey, buddy. Threw a whole bunch of food down there, the staff. 300 monkeys just all walking up the bank there. It's like I keep seeing more. How did you like the snow monkeys, Tammy? They were incredible. I could watch them all day as long as they have a chair. <laughs> all right, we're going to catch the bullet train to Kyoto. refrain from smoking in the train, including areas at either end of the cars. So there's the popular temple we're going to way up there, but we just have to walk by this cemetery first. Just look in the other way. Kiyomizu-dira Temple. It's a pure water temple built in 780. Just got our tickets to go to the main attraction, the 13-story structure that's been built with no nails. 
And the rumor is if you jump off the 13th floor and you survive, your wish will be granted. So whenever you enter these temples, you're supposed to do a ritual where you take the ladle with one hand and pour some water over the other hand. This is that structure, 13 stories high with no nails built in it. So here's a picture of the outside. Here's another picture of it. And here's another picture. And here's part of it. There's just like wire wrapped around all these boards, no nails. And we're going to walk inside. So yeah, just a whole bunch of wire wrapped around all these things. No nails. It's amazing this place was built in 780 without a single nail. This is one massive structure. This is what the place looks like in the if there's snow in the winter. Here's the back side of that big structure. Alright, here's Tammy doing the ritual where you supposed to drink from one of the three streams. One for good luck, good fortune, and stuff like that. So on the way to our next attraction, there's a street with all these uh, neat little shops. Just got done sampling a whole bunch of Japanese candies. That was pretty cool. We're seeing these candies in a whole bunch of stores. Very popular. And this is one of the stores where they make it. So they just take some dough and put a little filling in there. Wrap it up. These side streets, they sell everything. Here is deep fried octopus. These side streets are so quaint. Here's Tammy's favorite place. This is a real Starbucks. This is the upstairs at Starbucks where you take off your shoes and you can uh, sit down and relax. That's cool. This is Yasaka Shrine. At nighttime, it's lit up really nice with all. We're walking around Yasaka Shrine and uh, kind of neat. There's all these little side shrines in here. So that's the ritual. You're supposed to cleanse your hands and before you go in and visit the shrine. This is a huge structure. You can see the size of it with that guy standing in the front. So not exactly sure what this place is. We just happened to stumble across it. Really cool with all these uh, nice buildings in here. So a person just told me the monks will come here and store all their scriptures. Very famous area. Go see a nice garden up here now. I gotta go into this big shrine. So this is the entrance to Hein Shrine. Got some tourists here. <laughs> some type of tour club here. I guess they tour around the city in costumes and go-karts. Now we're gonna go see the garden in the back area of this huge complex. So he just entered the garden and wow it's it's got so many different scenic areas just like this little one here. Really cool. We got one fish in this whole pond area. We're gonna see if we can feed him some trail mix. Let's see if he likes a uh, peanut. Okay, he just ate the other one we threw in. There he goes. He likes the peanut. Yeah, nice little walkway. I mean, these guys look like they want some food. Just trying to get walk on. All right, here's a scenic area. Uh, so relaxing out here. Right, Tammy's gonna try walking across the stepping stones. You can do it. Don't slip. That would not be good if you fell in.
that's the end of the garden area. Now we just gotta cross that bridge. And... Alright, that was a fun visit in the gardens at the Hein Shrine. Alright, you wanna relax, don't you? <laughs> relax and hang out. <laughs> Really neat. These uh, like a shopping mall just keeps going as far as you can see, and got awesome shops on either side. So this is the famous Nashiki Market in Kyoto, where they have a whole bunch of food stores on either side. It goes about four football fields long. And they got everything here. There's Making peanut brittle or something. Bean brittle. Bean brittle. Yeah. Grilled octopus. Another popular item is octopus balls. Hey Tim, you want a baby octopus? No. What did you say? Baby octopus on a stick. Just stopped at a place for some food. We're gonna get some soup. Got some roasted chicken with udon noodles. Looks good. Just got the soy milk ice cream. Pretty good. So here's a machine that makes some desserts. Looks like pancakes. Just got done having dinner. Now we're going to go to a show. This is what Yasaki Shrine looks like at nighttime. And then right behind me is this one. So we're getting ready to hike in Inari today. This will be fun. This is a really a popular attraction here in Kyoto. There's the main entrance. So it's just a ritual to shake these things. Another popular photo area. So each one of these pillars have names written on the back and it costs money. The bigger the pillar, the more it costs. So if you look this way, you can see all the names on the pillar. Pillars. Oh wow, that is so cool. So there's thousands of pillars here. So we're walking in the entrance area. Cool. Here, let me get some video of this. There's the exit of that popular area. As you walk down in here, here's what it looks like. There's so many neat areas in this uh, Anari. You can hear the birds in the background. I could just keep filming this all day long. Off the main trail, they have a whole bunch of these little side excursions here you can take. Here's a lookout point of downtown Kyoto. Sunlight is hitting the pillars now, that's cool. There's the sunlight. Towards the top, there's like nobody here. We have reached the top of the mountain. Oh, there it is. Heading on down. 
so peaceful here. It's about probably 50 degrees. This is the first pillar we saw with English names. Just arrived in Nera. There's a whole bunch of deer here and uh, you can get some crackers and feed them. They're very cool. So any of these deer you can just walk up to and pet them on the head or whatever. All right, Tammy, feed the deer. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yeah, that one's bowing okay. So we're going to go check out the Eastern Golden Hall at the Kofukuji Temple Pre Precinct. The Eastern Golden Hall is so there's the Eastern Golden. Golden Hall. And over here is the five-story pagoda. One more shot of all the deer in the park. There are so many deer in this park, it's just amazing. And this one has antlers. He's got some antlers on him. This park is like a mile long and there's just deer everywhere. Here's a couple more deer. This guy is just back. The deer are literally everywhere. <laughs> and they're very friendly too. You can pet them. These deer will hunt you down if you have food like this guy. <laughs> That is a huge gate. Big, big, big. Finally made it to the Great Buddha Hall in Nara. So we're going to walk in that huge structure there. I cannot believe how big this building is. There's the giant Buddha inside. Another angle of the Buddha. ride the romantic train it's a scenic train ride through the uh, mountains and there it is the romantic train ride this should be a fun train ride this is what the inside of the train car looks like yeah on our ride back we'll be sitting here in the open area here we go everybody's waving by Sure what those are. They got some more of these things here. I don't know what they are, but it's a little chilly on the outside part. goes the train. This is the faster JR train, the non-scenic one.
So now we're headed over to the bamboo forest, which is kind of like here. So this is the popular bamboo forest in Kyoto, Japan. A lot of photo op areas. The place we're at right now is called Tenruji Temple. And it's the winter time, so it's a really perfect temperature. That's a neat little area, it looks like moss. A gorgeous day outside. Uh, one final view of the garden area. Okay, our next attraction is gonna be a gold leaf display. It's like a two-story building where the top level is all gold leaf. So here's a real Rolls-Royce car in Japan. So we just ordered one of these chocolate creams. It's a fish. Looks like a pancake with some chocolate cream in it. And that's how they make them over there. Alright, we're trying the local food. Here's a beef and potato fried something. This is a cotton candy store and they sell all different types. Can't really pronounce the names. Here's what it looks like when it's all done. <laughs> it's big. <laughs> all kinds of cotton candy. We're getting ready to go into this place. This is called a pachinko and slot store. So I've always I've heard that pachinko machines are popular in here. Pachinko! So this is the Kikaju Temple. The top two floors are made of gold leaf. Yeah, gold leaf is super pretty. Well, this garden area almost looks fake. It's so scenic. There's a different angle of the gold leaf structure. So at this place, they're handing out samples of tea with gold in it, gold leaf. So here's my tea cup, and there's some gold flakes in there. Ice cream store sells ice cream with gold leaf. <laughs> gold leaf on top of the ice cream. <laughs> so we saw this little area off the train track, so we just wanted to come over here and check it out real fast. It's Getting ready to leave Kyoto and heading to Hiroshima. Here goes the bullet train. Here comes our bullet train for Hiroshima. Looks like it's a little better quality here, the seats. Just made it to our hotel in Hiroshima, APA Hotel. Um, it's interesting, I'll show you the rooms. They're, all the rooms are very small in Japan, but that's normal. So here we go into our hotel. All right, we just checked in. We're gonna go up to our room. These hotels are pretty inexpensive, only like $63 a night. All right, here we are, 12.06. So this is a typical hotel room size in Japan. It's like being on a cruise ship. It's a very similar size. And then uh, that's it. And then a simple bathroom. And they've got the uh, Japanese toilet stuff here with the bidet and all that stuff. So we're in Hiroshima and we're getting ready to catch the ferry to go over to this uh, popular island over there. There's the ferry. So that's called the Miyajima Island. 
So there's a popular attraction on this island. It's a Tory Gate, which looks like that. But right now, it currently has a whole bunch of scaffolding around it. They're working on it. And it's in that white enclosure straight ahead. But that's where it is located. Hope you have enjoyed your passage to the Ajima. The deer on Mayajima Island are wildlife animals. Treat them gently and with patience. There's our first deer. These machines here are real popular in these stores. They make like these, uh, it's almost like a pancake batter and they have filling in there. That's a big stone Tory gate. I don't have anything. Yeah, back up and get his nose all over you. It's a cool little beach there. There's the giant Tory gate, but it's all covered up for construction, for maintenance. So we're gonna walk over to a shrine over there. That's really cool with the backdrop of the mountains and the clouds nestled in there. But before you visit the shrines, you're supposed to do the ritual with these uh, ladles here. Now we're going to walk up to Daishan Temple. I love this part about the temple. It's really cute. Beyond the deer right there, behind it, all these little statues. They all got different face expressions. I love the detail in their faces. Here's our first baby deer we saw. You can smell all the incense in here. On the sides here, they have all these statues. These all have different face expressions also. It's like cool stuff all over this little Daishan temple. This building looks really cool. A little cave over there. This is amazing. Wow, they got all the different statues in here. So each one of these statues has coins in front of them. Not sure what it means, but... People, I guess they... Money in that one. Money in that one. Money in this one. That's neat how the lights reflect off the table. Never seen a temple like this before. And we got a lot of dolls here, a lot of statues. Now this building is huge. These things right here you're supposed to spin. I guess for good luck or something. Spin those things, Tammy. <laughs> Interesting statue. In this big temple, you can actually go underneath. Not sure what's down there, but we're gonna go check it out. Down in that basement, um, there's some ritual. I'm not sure what it is yet, but you walk in there and it's completely dark, and there's these, you just gotta try to find your way out. That was really fun visiting that temple. In this park, of course, they've got lots of deer. 
Mommy Jandani Park. That's a big one. Like grooming each other. See, she grooming you? This male just hissed at us. I guess this is all of his ladies here. He thinks we're a threat, so we're gonna leave him alone. So Tammy, did you ever think you'd be petting a wild deer? All right, Tim, you gotta pet these two. She's got, she'll pet you. Aww. She, She's the petter, not me. You need more food in your backpack. <laughs> oh, you're right. You smell that food? Probably. I think he smells the food. Chocolate dipped bananas. Squid, octopus. Our final attraction on this little island. That's that five-story pagoda. So this is a really old structure. It's funny people can walk underneath. Well, you can tell this thing is super, super old. All right, we're gonna go catch the ferry back and go to Hiroshima and see the Peace Park where the atomic bomb went off. Now you can see the water has completely filled in this little bay area with the shrine. People cooking oysters right here on the street. I just bought one of these, the chocolate filled, they were good. There's so many of these stores have this, once again, automated machine that does all this stuff. Saw a lot of neat things. Now we're gonna head back to Hiroshima. Yeah. Just arrived at the atomic bomb site in Hiroshima, the famous A-Dome building that survived the blast back in 1945. I'll just get some video from different sides of it. You can see a metal beam up there all twisted up. That's what the building looked like before the bomb was dropped. And the bomb exploded 600 meters above this spot and just incinerated everything in its path. That's what it looked like after the bomb blew up. Just leveled everything. And then 140,000 people perished, unfortunately. 70,000 right away and then another 70,000 due to radiation exposure. All right, final shot of the atomic bomb site. Now we're going to go get some lunch. Right across from the A-bomb spot, it's like, it's like a parking garage here, but right behind it is an actual cemetery. Wow. It's kind of a... Uh, wouldn't expect it right here. They actually have a, a light for pedestrians, so you can see the green light up there. That's funny. Oh, hurry up, Tammy. <laughs> it's very neat just to see all the people and all the shops. There's H&M right there on the left. All right, we're going to go this way to a lunch place. That's the entrance to the place, Okinomura. And you just walk in here and... Actually, you walk up there. <laughs> so we're at this popular lunch place in Hiroshima to get this famous entree called Okinomoyaki. And they just cook it right in front of you and they yeah it's kind of a neat little process but in this neat little area not only can you just get it here there's all these stalls where you can go ahead and they all sell it it's like a super super popular area yeah it's really neat a little quaint very quaint experience all right there's ours half and half you might need a fork <laughs> wow, Tammy's using the chopsticks. Impressive. That was very, very good. Here's downtown Hiroshima. There's our hotel. It's that big brown one that's like a U shape. We're heading to Tokyo on the bullet train tonight. On the bullet train. So that's the bullet train we we're just on. We got one more bullet train and that will be the last one for this trip. Here comes our train that's going to bring us to the final leg of the trip to Tokyo. We are riding one of the local metros to our hotel. Just arrived in Tokyo. So tonight we're going to stay in a capsule hotel. This is the hotel 9H right up there. Go ahead and show you the capsule hotel, but you have to be quiet in there so I won't talk.
today we're going to catch a tour to Mount Fuji. We're just getting ready to leave our hotel here in Tokyo. Oh, that's a cool building. And we're getting ready for our 9 o'clock tour to Mount Fuji. We just checked in with that lady over there in the yellow jacket. There's the top of Mount Fuji. You can see the wind whipping around the snow up there on Mount Fuji. Kim, you want some squid? I pass. You pass? Are you sure? Mm. We're going to go check out another shrine before we go to lunch. Main Tori Gate. So that's the main shrine. We'll walk in there now. Oh, they burn a lot of incense here. It is lunchtime on the second floor up here at the amusement park. Looks pretty good. And in the background over here is Mount Fuji. You can kind of see it through there. Wow, what a beautiful day out here. Got the roller coaster in the back, blue skies, fake Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Alright, getting ready to take a boat ride, but before we take a boat ride, we got ice cream. We got Lavender ice cream. And this is a very pretty uh, little area too, as you can see. There's our boat. After the boat ride on the lake, we're going to go up this ropeway behind me, which is right there. Boy, gorgeous day out. The temperature is about probably 55 degrees. There's the cable car we're going to take up to the top. So it was a very scenic and beautiful and Fuji, Mount Fuji is beautiful. Yeah. Right, here comes the cable car. Emirates. On top of this lodge, you get a nice panoramic view of the place. Mount Fuji. And there's that lake we were on with the lake cruise. It is cold up here. Cold, cold, cold. Waiting for that cable car. I like how they have the rabbits on top of the carriage. These fabulous events are to be enjoyed. <laughs> I just wanted to show you how busy it is here at the train station. Getting ready to go to our hotel. And once again, a super active street. This is what Tokyo looks like on January 1st, 2020. Nobody is out here. It's kind of eerie to see nothing happening in Tokyo. We're exiting the train station, and this is funny. Just in the middle of nowhere, there's a nice aquarium. This morning we're going to go see Sinsoji Temple. It's this is called Nakami's Shopping Street before the popular Sinsoji Temple. Very busy intersection. These pancake places are so popular. Here's a guy. He's making them. This is the uh, entrance gate to the temple. Looks like you have to wait a little bit to go in. Here is what the line looks like the other way. So they let about maybe 300 people in at a time. And then the people are just throwing hordes of money up there. <laughs> Wow. Alright, we're going to try to exit. Look at those uh, octopus. 
All kinds of meat. There's the pagoda. This place is more packed now. This has got to be the smallest hard rock cafe I've ever seen. <laughs> One in Tokyo. This is it. It's only like 10 feet wide. <laughs> this place sells happy bags for five dollars. You don't know what's in it. All right, this is a popular, sh another popular shopping district in Tokyo. Looks like you can buy a pig head here. Oh my gosh. Out in front of each one of these uh, shops, often there's a person standing up trying to bring people in. I feel bad. This guy lost his voice, but he's trying. Here's another go-kart tour. You dress up in outfits and ride the go-karts. We are in the anime area of Tokyo, and these stores are popular. It's like a little gumball machine with all these different things you can get. There's the anime store. All kinds of action figures. Wow, that's a cool billboard set up there. More anime shops. Lots of people out here. Here's a Star Wars shop. And robot anime. $930 for that one. There's the Sega building. We're leaving the Akabari area and heading to Shibuya Crossing. And this is the famous Shibuya Scramble Crossing in Tokyo where up to 2,500 people can cross at one time. Hey Tammy, wave hi. It's got five different areas you can cross. Two on the left, one on the center, and two on the right. Last night we were woken up by a minor earthquake tremor. Uh, yikes, that was scary. There's the sunrise in Tokyo. But this is what it looks like when it's not busy on the uh, metro. They have a restaurant with my name, Jonathan's Coffee and Restaurant. This is the outdoor fish market. They sell Florida lobster too. Lots of fish stuff for sale. Uh, here's a popular Buddhist temple in Tokyo. Oh. Ah, a nice little view of the waterway. And the nicest grocery store we've been in so far in Japan. This is just like uh, amazing. Check out these crab legs that Tammy's holding. This set of crab legs cost $148 just for that amount. Just arrived in Ginza, Tokyo. It's a very popular shopping street with all the uh, high-end stores. There's Louis Vuitton store right there. Just walked in the Louis Vuitton store. I told Tammy she's got a $10 spending limit. <laughs> Here's the waiting line to get into the Apple store. There's about probably a hundred people waiting in line just to get into it. On this popular shopping street, they do have some cool architecture with the buildings. That's a pretty cool view, just all the buildings going down the street. Tammy likes the Swarovski store. Here's a column with all the crystals. Just walked into a luggage store called Ramoa. This little hand piece carry-on costs one thousand four hundred dollars. Well. This truck is promoting Cats Broadway. And they're playing the music loud. Alright, we're up two o'clock. 
There's a popular Nissan car. Pretty nice. This is pretty. Getting ready to go into the Meiji Shrine. This emperor was known for modernizing Japan. There's got to be about 30,000 people that visited this place today. So just to show you how many people are coming in here. That's yeah, pretty cool. All the way down it goes. This shrine is very similar to the last one. They let like maybe 500 people in at a time. There's probably like 12,000 people in front of us. Let me show you what it looks like behind us. Yeah. <laughs> Almost there. We're exiting the shrine. So this is cool. You pay in here and you shake these things. Uh, obviously it's some ritual, but I'm not sure how it works. A whole bunch of people are just eating at this little uh, food court area. Over here they got some crabs. Crab legs. Alright, now we're leaving the shrine. That was really packed. And we're gonna go to an owl cafe. And we're going into the owl cafe and bar owl village. This is the owl cafe. First, you get a drink and a dessert. And you can relax at the tables. And then you got the 10 owls over here or more. All right, so we're gonna have some juice, some coffee, snacks. Here, cutie. And this one you're allowed to touch right on the face, one finger. Oh, he likes that, Tammy. Look, look at his eyes close. Wow, look at this one, Tammy. He's looking. He's looking. All right, so we got the two owls. There's one. Are you watching? Are you watching yeah. the train, sweetheart? You like that one, don't you? The saw. <laughs> The street is so cool looking at night with all the lights. That's oh, funny, Wendy's. Tammy's having fun shopping. <laughs> like that? Yeah, it's nice walking around here, all these uh, shops and lots of people out. This store here is called Florida. All different types of crepes. Here's bacon, cheese, and egg salad crepe. This is a really cool uh, treat place called Cookie Time or Cookie Bar with the Munster here. And here's what the inside looks like. Very lively. A lot of people in here. Cookie Time. We just arrived at Team Lab Borderless uh, Digital Art Museum. This is the Lantern Room.
This is called the Ocean Room. This is called Crystal World. That's me looking down. It's raining in the crystal world. This room makes you feel like you're in it. Water is going around her foot. So you can see the rock down there. The waves, the water will go around you. At this uh, tea house, as long as you have tea in your bowl, a uh, digital art will appear on the liquid. And as soon as you drink all your tea, the petal will disappear, dissipate, just like Tammy. Tammy just moved her bowl, and now all the petals from the original flower are dissipating. I just colored this in. I'm going to have the guy scan it in, and we'll see if we can find it in the middle of the playground area. So he just scanned it in, and we'll see if we can find it. There's my artwork running around the floor. See, I'll put the paper down. So there's the paper on the floor. And it's walking over my paperwork. Here's two of them right here. Just walking around on the floor. Jay loves tea. Cool. Just got done uh, painting my turtle. Now I'm going to have him go scan it in. And then we're going to look for it on the wall. There's our turtle. It swims fast. Jay loves tea. Right, we might go up in this Ferris wheel. Pretty big one. We're gonna go up in that one. There we go. We got very lucky in the timing of the Ferris wheel. We actually got the perfect sunset. Just to the right of the sunset is Mount Fuji. We're at the highest point now. There's a clear cart behind us. A pretty skyline. These kids are having fun. The parents put them in bubbles in water and they get to run around. That was a lot of fun riding that Ferris wheel and we timed it once again just perfect to watch the sunset. This alleyway is a super popular area that goes back to the post-war time period and it's basically nothing's changed. It's almost identical. There's a whole bunch of eating places on either side that are just like, uh, hello. <laughs> just fit in the little alleyway there and eat. See? Very, very compact. <laughs> very congested. You just sit and eat. But that was uh, really neat. So we're going to go in there and eat now. Some of the items on this menu look really good, but a little bit concerned about this one. Raw horse meat. This is the restaurant we're going to eat at. Pretty cool. You just sit down and place the order. So they just cook the food right there on the grill. Chicken. So they got some shrimp you can buy, squid, and they got clams, and it's just a small place. You got the wall right here. All right, now we're headed off to the red light district. Check out this McDonald's over here. It's like a one, two, four-story McDonald's right there. This is the start of the red light district. Very lively area out here. Every direction you look, there's just tons of lights and activity. Ah, all the colors, man, it's pretty cool. 
This is the famous robot restaurant in Tokyo. Tokyo has a lots of lights. It's cool. All right, this area is called Golden Guides. Basically, how the bars looked just after the post-war. So this is how the bars are. Super small, like six people can fit in there. And this is how it looked after the war. So here's how big the bar is. Like four people can fit in the bar. This place is called Bar Buster. I'll show you how small. Today we're going to visit the Goin National Park. Strike a pose. <laughs> Very, oh yeah, nice, loving it. This looks like a popular photography spot. <laughs> Just arrived at the Imperial Palace, and now we're gonna go see the East Gardens, which is just in this area right here. Perfect day out here. Yeah, temperature is about maybe 55 degrees. Uh, I like this little area here. It's cool with the reflection of the trees on the left side. There's one of the old guard houses for the Imperial Palace. Different angle of the guard house. This is the famous bridge shot at the Imperial Palace. The Imperial Palace is up top, just above the bridges. There's the palace up top. <laughs> So this is the observation deck in the government building. You go up 45 floors, which is like about 600 feet, and you got a nice view of Tokyo. Yep, so we ordered onomiyaki, where we cook it ourselves. We're having a popular Japanese dish called okonomiyaki. So the way you do it is they bring you a bowl with a whole bunch of different ingredients. You mix it up with a spoon, then you pour it on this cooking table, and you make a circle about a centimeter high. Let it cook for five minutes, flip it over, cook it on the other side, and it comes out. It tastes really good. Here's the final product, but what's interesting is the tuna flakes on top keep moving back and forth. Oh, wow. This stuff is really good. Just had our dinner over there on the other side of the street. That was awesome. Local Japanese food. And it's our last night in Tokyo. Had a great time in Japan. Heading home tomorrow. Before we catch our train to the airport, we're just going to walk through this park card, you know, U-E-N-O. Yep. Yeah. 
more performers over there on the right. All right, so we're gonna ride this swan for about 30 minutes, and then we'll go to the airport. <laughs> uh, All right. We're gonna, we're gonna run into this deck if we don't turn. <laughs> so here, here's the other swans. It's like the amazing race. <laughs> 